everybody today is uh, august 28th it's wednesday 6 59 a.m and i just got this offer from uh, doordash 14 dollars 50 for 7.5 miles to go to panera and then go to chick-fil-a the universe does not want me to work today let me tell you everything is an obstacle so i have a um dental issue so i have to call the dentist later today and they're probably going to give me another crown so i have to get that taken care of um i'll call them later today probably around nine and they'll probably schedule me for some time today where i'll have to do it so that's going to cut my day short i had a mountain of laundry that i had in the that i saw in the laundry room i'm like oh shoot i've got to do laundry i can't go out and and do delivery so i did laundry and then uh and then something else came up oh and then there was some sort of crisis with the dogs um it was it was just a, a sanitary issue I, we, I forgot to groom the dogs and there was all kinds of issues in the back you know what happens when you don't groom your dogs in the back <laughs> and problems start to occur because there's too much hair back there well that was happening Thank you too. Okay, the next drop off is just across the street at uh, Chick fil A. I'm going to head directly inside and grab that Chick fil A. first drop off is four minutes from here 1.2 miles it's the chick-fil-a order it's a leave at the door this delivery might be a challenge because it's actually a business and they didn't give a sweet number and they they're not communicating so yeah i think it's i think it's a smith's grocery store so i'll just cruise on by real slow the front door of smith's and just do it like a drive-by and see if anybody like is like looks like they're waiting for me and then if not, I'm going to park and then try to contact them. And, uh, and then after that, just go inside and just look, look like an idiot inside the grocery store. Well, on second thought, it is they did say leave at the door. So wherever that address is, I guess I'll just look for a safe spot to just rest it down and then just snap a picture and go. They added the following instructions. Leave at my door. I went inside of the Smith's uh, grocery store and uh, there was like a, you know, one of those like money centers that was closed, but it was really close to where the, all the, the checkout counters were. So I set it on that counter. It sort of looked like a place that used to be customer service, but it's not anymore. So I set it on there. And then one, one of the ladies saw me uh, saw what I was doing and she's like oh Chick-fil-a and I'm like yeah it's for and then I said the name of the customer and then she got on the intercom and announced over the intercom to the person that her food is here and um, <laughs> yeah I wish they would have just said to bring bring it inside and leave it you know to specifically say where to put it because my first instinct was to leave it outside by the entrance but there are so many vagrants and weirdos that are you know hanging out right there that food would have been gone so i said no i'm going to take it inside where at least you know it's in the store somewhere um and i knew they had counters so i set it there all right we're going to be going nine minutes from here 3.9 miles to drop off the um panera and it's just three coffees and it's an apartment and it is a hand it to the recipient i've delivered to this customer before uh i know that the 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 mapping pin that they put on the app is wrong so i'm not going to follow it and i have the correct location of their building in my google maps so i've already marked that and i'm ready to just hit hit the button to have google maps guide me to that building as soon as i arrive 
And then the only issue will be if one of the, if whether or not the um, security gates are open, which it's rush hour right now, so somebody's going to be popping out of there no matter what. One of the gates was open, but unfortunately, it was the gate that makes me go the longest way to get to the customer. I was like 10 seconds. If I would have been there 10 seconds sooner, I would have made it through that gate. This Your one. Your destination is on the right. It's the very <laughs> next building here, first set of stairs. Good morning. Hi, Hi. Thank you so You're much. You're welcome. I appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, no problem. Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs> Got the next one up from DoorDash. It's borderline good. It's $8.75 for 4.7 miles to go to McDonald's. got the order in hand and uh, it's got to get through this traffic over here I believe I'm gonna be going to a house uh, safe to turn yep it's safe uh, eight minutes from here 2.5 miles it's a contactless delivery they just said please to ring the doorbell I feel very confident about reaching my goal today because of the uh, dental issues that I have and I have to make time for the dentist and I really don't want to have to deal with the dentist you know during my off time so it'll I'll probably end up melding it into some time between probably between 10 a.m. and uh, noon is what I'm hoping for but who knows maybe the dentist won't have to won't be able to see me today and then that's going to change my whole situation and then I'll just keep on delivering boy the navigation's all screwed up over here it thinks I'm at the wrong location up is from DoorDash. I'm going to get $6 for 2.6 miles to go to Starbucks. Well, it looks like there's some sort of police situation over here that is causing all the traffic to get mucked up. I can't tell what the situation is, but there's multiple law enforcement vehicles. And then there's a car that is, you know, <laughs> I think that's the car they're focused on. I don't know. This place is so busy, it's crazy. I'm gonna be going to a business five minutes from here, 1.7 miles. It's gonna be a handed to me. I better go the other way because there's a lot of chaos going on over here at the Starbucks this morning. So far, all the orders that I've gotten today have been coming from uh, DoorDash. I don't think I've gotten anything all day today that has been Uber Eats. Oh man, finally I'm almost here. Man, the traffic is just so bad right now. It is 8.20 a.m. and maybe a lot of people start work at 9 a.m. I always thought here in Vegas most people started at 8 a.m. but lately it's been like a total mess. This place is right next to Egg Works. I think it's some type of dentist office. Let's see. Oh, is there any parking? You got any parking for me? Let's the customer see. requested you hand them the order. Oh, I got to hand them the they order. They added the following instructions. What? Hand it to me. Hand it Truman to you. Orthodontics. Oh, got it.
welcome. I got the next offer and it's actually something from Uber Eats. What a surprise, huh? It's $8.34 to go to Taco Bell for 2.7 miles. Using the left lane, make a U-turn to stay on Sunridge Heights Parkway, then turn right. Right. Turn left. Turn right, then turn right. Man, the internet's not working so good either today. I got a lot of a lot of things working against me this morning. We're going over to a house eight minutes from left here. Turn left on 2.1 2.1 miles. Uh, it's a it has a gate. I have a gate code. Leave it anywhere on the porch is fine. Thank you. left on Carnegie Street. In a quarter mile turn left on Cozy Hill Circle. Turn left on Citrus Garden Circle. Drop off on the left. one is coming in from DoorDash and it's a uh, double order. I got to go to uh, Staples and shop for one item. Then I got to pick up, I think, a couple of things from uh, Walgreens. Getting $20.50 for 12.8 miles. I think this might be the last one. This delivery is probably going to be hard. It looks like I'm shopping for some type of special cable. Good luck getting help inside of Staples to uh, find a cable, but I'll do the best I can. I guess most of the cables are in the same location, so. Item that the customer wanted was not in stock. They did not have it, so they're out of luck. I already called them and asked them if they wanted something else. They didn't have the substitute that the guy wanted so they're not getting anything so now i gotta get online here with support but i'm burning up in the sun so i'm just turning my car around here and i gotta talk to the customer service person the order's being canceled and i'm getting five dollars and change and now i'm headed off to um walgreens well now i don't know how much money i'm gonna get in total for this offer i know i got five dollars and some change i think it was five dollars and 37 cents for coming on over to staples and uh chatting with the customer and canceling and now i don't know what i'm getting for the rest of this offer uh, i wonder if it says anything else no it still just says the standard you'll get twenty dollars and fifty cents for this offer so my guess is that I'm going to end up with $15 and something because usually they give you half of the money for whatever the order was. So based on the fact that I got $5 and change, I was probably going to get $10 and something for that um, cable. That the person that ordered that cable is the customer that lives really far from here because boy that's that's uh that would be great that would make it where it would just be a short distance because the the walgreens or the, or the other customers like there's i think there's one or two customers 
who are nearby from where I'm at. And there's one customer that's really far from here. And I'm hoping that the Staples one was the one that was really far. news this customer is just 1.2 miles from here three minute drive it's a house and it's a contactless delivery oh great the navigation took me to a gate that has no code box and now i'm just following these people in so i can figure out where to go now it's in this community so i got myself back on track Contactless delivery. Call customer and arrange drop-off location. They added the following instructions. Customer instructions. Contactless. Hello. I'm gonna put the soda uh, here on the ground. Just put it on the ground. I did thank you so much. There was only one. And that's all they gave me. Yeah. It's supposed to be three. That's all they gave me. Sorry, that's it. Okay, thank that's you. Fine. Thank you. She wasn't happy. I guess uh, there was supposed to be more stuff with her order, but they didn't give me anything else. So there was nothing else I could do. I go. This is all they gave me. And the uh, the instructions don't say anything about what the items are. So I can't verify anything uh, for the customer. So I got, uh, if you can see on the screen, I got $9.75 plus the five. So I got $15 total for that short amount of distance. But I officially have the last one and it's once again, it's from DoorDash. DoorDash was on fire today and I'm getting $10.03 for 3.2 miles to shop for nine items. About uh, 9.28 a.m. I should finish by 10.15, I would think at the latest for this next one. And then that's gonna do it. And I tried calling up the dentist and uh, I'm having trouble getting a hold of anybody because there's probably so many people that are calling right now because you know they just opened and everyone's calling because you know, they're having pain, <laughs> whatever, with their teeth. The whole world is in pain with their teeth. So take a look at what we're shopping for as I sit here parked because I didn't have internet before. Eggs, jasmine rice, 25 pounds, you're crazy. Uh, dull pineapple, paper plates, ginger, Coke, Coke, and Sprite. Okay, I'm all done. I'm gonna check out and I'm paying with the DoorDash red card. 9.46 a.m. and it was a pretty fast shopping experience, so no problems. Uh, heading to a house, leave at my door. I have a gate code. Um, it's telling me which streets to go to and the community's name. The Garden Final has really expanded the types of items that they sell. They're a lot more like a regular grocery store. They have like fresh cut fruit and all kinds of baked pastry goods. The selection of, of uh, cuts of, um, you know, like cold cuts and stuff. It's much bigger, like different types of sandwich meats. 
I'm really surprised how much they were able to pack into that tiny store. And I just saw this morning when I went onto the Smart and Final app that they were having a big sale on the sodas. It was like four cases of Pepsi products, you know, and that's whatever the heck Pepsi sells. So they sell other things other than Pepsi, but four cases of soda, the 12 packs for $10. I was like, wow, that is a super good deal. Now, of course, this DoorDash customer, they didn't get the deal because you have to actually um, come in yourself to get it. And I'm not sure if you need a coupon or not, but I saw it this morning and I was almost tempted to come back here later today and get some, but I'm too busy. If there's a gate opening over here, I don't think I've ever gone. <laughs> I can't get in from over here, you stupid app. <laughs> yup, this app is making me go the longest way around to get to this drop off. It decided to uh, take me to a, a gate that has absolutely not even a chain on it. It's a, it's a fence with an opening. Like I would have to just hop over the fence to get to that building or to that house. I don't even know why they do that. It's like, why does the app tell me to go a direction that everybody knows it's not a road? <laughs> it has never been a road. So why, why are you telling me in the navigation to go that way? And why, if it, if, it's that, if it turns out that that is the case, why doesn't the customer say the entrance to my community is off of this road? <laughs> I'm such a dummy. <laughs> the customer did put what street the, their entrance is off of. <laughs> I'm the dummy. Yeah. Oh, what did I do wrong? <laughs> what other stupid thing have I done wrong today? The customer requested you leave the order at their door. Additional instructions are provided in the Dasher app. Okay, that wraps everything up. 9.56 a.m. Everything went much better than I thought it was going to be going. <laughs> because I thought that with doing my laundry this morning and all the crazy things that happened this morning, I thought I wasn't going to be able to, uh, to make it. And uh, I still haven't talked to the dentist. So that's the one thing that is... Um, not complete which i'll do as soon as i get back home and uh people keep asking me about shopping and how, how i pay for the shopping orders it's very simple the customer pays for the order <laughs> the order the money goes onto a credit a card that i have that's from doordash or from uber eats they put that money on the card then i use that card when i check out at the market and that is it that's all there is to it. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> Everybody keeps trying to make it sound like it's super complicated. They give you a card. <laughs> it looks like a credit card, but it's not really a credit card. It's like, a, you know, it's, it, it's preloaded with money once you accept the order and you've done all the shopping and all that other junk. There's no way to, tr if you try to, if you try to do something crooked with it, you're in big trouble. They'll, they'll can't, they'll get, they'll fire you real quick. And um, the, the card won't even accept anything except for the um, location that you're supposed to be at. And you have to confirm it in the app as well. And then of course you have to scan all the items as well. So there's, it's a very foolproof system they have for their um, shopping uh, uh, and you know, putting the money on the card. So that's all I have to say about it. If you have additional questions about how us delivery drivers 
pay for shopping orders, put it in the comments. Otherwise, thanks everybody for watching and I'll see you guys again tomorrow on Thursday for the next episode.